everybody, welcome to another video of the Simple Planes. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to land using the arresting wire and cables. I promised last video I was going to make a follow up on this, and I'm going to not make my own plane from scratch for this because that takes boring and time. And while making your own planes is fun, I just don't really want to make my own plane just for this. Anyway, though, you want a plane that has a wide base. When I say wide base, I mean wide back. Like the Haleska would be a good plane. The Gator 2 is a helicopter. The Bush plane is slow, so it would be a good plane. Backup is a plane that crashed. But for example, last video I used the Wasp. The Wasp is the hardest vehicle to land in the game because there's too much clearance from where this is to that. The, the wheels to the back of the plane and tail, so it easily strikes. Plus, there's also too much wing clearance from the end of the wheels to there, so it's pretty bad. On what said the Haleska. <laughs> Never mind, Haleska's a bad plane. Let me just download a plane from the internet then. So, the simpleplanes.com. I'm gonna look up, in my opinion, the F 22 Raptor would be a good plane. So, F 22. So, if I wanted to do, let's say, a good plane, I'll probably do the F 22 Raptor. And that one looks extremely high in parts and it's gonna lag a lot. So open. So I'm not going to download it. And here it is. I'm using someone. I've stolen someone else's plane, and I now plan on making some slight adjustments to make it where they are able to land. So this is an F-22. Whoever made this, they made it really well. I'm going to give them a shout out in the description for their simple planes uh, stuff. But you're going to want to go to landing gear and go to the arresting hook. Now it should be right in the middle of the plane, anywhere else it's basically useless. You're going to want it to be on, let's say, on this one, activation group 1. So you want to have it be a little bit lower than this. And in my opinion it should be a bit longer, so I'm going to make it... twice the size because it just looks more realistic that way. Looks more realistic that way. I think a bit larger. Size, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any real effects on it. So I'm going to go to location just to test out. So I see right here, here's what it looks like without it. When you do deploy it, it on the ground it just kind of spasses out. But that's okay. So you're going to want to go to, let's say, the right funnel approach. And, oh jeez, this plane is sound is cool. I like this plane. Whoever made this did a really good job. And ooh. I like how the missiles deploy. This is really well made F-22. This looks really cool. What if this there is even a custom cockpit? Okay, hold up. I really like the look of this plane. This is made extremely well. I want to go a lot slower and out of cockpit view because when you can't even cockpit view it's just a lot harder in cockpit view so then I'm going to go activation group 1 actually I'm going to do a little bit later on I'm going to activate the gear okay I didn't see the back gear deploying I was kind of scared I'm going to get close I'm going to do this I'm going to slow down now, I, I wish this plane had air brakes. I'm fine without them. So, 200 miles an hour is okay. Because the arresting wire will slow you down extremely quickly. So, as you can see, we're going in. This only works on the USS Beast. Do not try it in the USS Tiny. You saw nothing. So, I'm just going to make that. I think this plane has afterburners on activation group one. <gasps> ah, that makes a lot of sense. Yep, activation group one does afterburners, so I'm not going to have it on activation group one. I'm actually going to have it be activation group eight, which you should usually never do anything like this on activation group eight, but I'm going to because activation group eight automatically deploys as soon as you start off. So we're not. 
Yeah. Definitely some afterburners. So we're gonna get close. Yep, eight. We're gonna get closer. I'm gonna bleed off a lot of speed. Good 300 miles an hour should be good. So we're gonna go in pretty smooth. Not fly into the deck with our afterburners on because we have the wrong key active didn't pay attention. This is why you always pay attention when you download flying. You don't want to go in pretty slowly. Turn off afterburners. You don't want to have some engines too. So if you go too slow, you're just going to fly into the below deck. So you're going to be going pretty straight. This take, does take some practice, of course. You want to go in straight and just get caught by it. That was a pretty rough landing. <laughs> but goes pretty well. Now I'm pretty sure this is being a commonly searched thing because my original video on this is over 800 views which I'm a 20 subscriber channel. When I made that I was like a 10 subscriber channel. So that's kind of cool I guess. And you just press 8 to let go of it. And then you can go over to if you want to to uh, yaw not roll. I'm such an idiot. So I'm, I'm used to mobile controls. And I used to go with catch on here. This is the catapult. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So when you want to go in here, you want to be going slow enough. I just discovered this. So you want to click this right here. As you, what am I hitting? Oh, uh, this thing is about to explode. So as you can see, when I, this button right here is now going yellow. So you're going to want to, or just to start going off. As you can see, I'm now moving 7 miles an hour, which is because the aircraft carrier is moving at 7 miles an hour. So I'm going to zoom out, you can see. Press this button, it's going to launch us off at a high speed. Then we go up, bam, already at like 500 miles an hour. So that's going pretty well, I guess. And that's basically just how you use the... Uh, whatchamacallit, that's how you use the boat. Um, this thing doesn't have any guns. Oh, this thing does have guns. I'm blind. That's how you use the arresting wire and catapult, or shall I say trebuchet, on the USS Beast. Now also, as another note, I should probably have shown you before this, I'm also going to show you how to use the air airplane uh, elevator on here because this is the wrong thing. I'm going to go to the USS Beast aircraft carrier. There's another kind of secret. It's not really secret. It's just that no one really knows about it. So I'm going to go over here and I have activation group 8 active. That's why you never have anything on activation group 8. So then you're going to want to go over to here. And as you can see, this little red square right here has a secret. So you want to just go on to here as normal. Then just hold a break. And when you're waiting here, Let's play some elevator music, and then BAM! We're going down. So there's another elevator right over there, but it does literally the exact same thing, so I have no reason to show you it. So I'm going to go over to here, and I hate life. X, 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 that does not work here. Well, that could have gone better. Oh, why is we sunk the USS Beast? Oh, oh, I think it's glitching out. Or high altitude is glitching out. It just doesn't give an altitude. So that's how you use the elevator. Just sit down there and wait. Jeez. Yeah, uh, I expect to play Kevl Space Program when X stops it for you. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's tutorial video on Simple Planes. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe for more simple planes related content. Co simple planes related content. I'm not going to stop doing Town of Salem though. I'm always going to do Town of Salem because one, it's easy to make. Two, I love playing Town of Salem. Social reduction is so fun. And three, I, I, I'm, I've kind of just like, it's a staple of this channel. It's the most common thing I upload. 
I mean, the last video I made, it got six whole views, which is not that much. But considering uh, in the past, I, I made a lot of videos, got a few subscribers, and then I just kind of stopped making videos because I ran out of time, and no one watches mobile videos because I was a mobile game YouTuber, don't judge me. That's why I old ones made Simple Plans mobile. I'm going to make some more Simple Plans videos. I've got at least one more planned after this, which is the uh, Kraken-based video. But, uh, last video I just kind of goofed around in a lot, a lot. Next video, after the crack, I'm probably going to do another tutorial on how to unlock every single location in this game on both PC and mobile. But that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. So goodbye, and don't do what I did and blow up the entire USSB still trying to land on it. See you next time.